All right, guys, check it out. We got the 2025 Honda Dax 125 sitting right here. This thing, bone stock. Bone stock, brother. Check it out. We got ourselves, I think it's Coso. Yeah. Coso throttle body intake manifold. We're going to take this stock stuff off of here, get it swapped out. Now that I got the ability to tune this thing with my, uh, with my DinoJet PowerVision 3, I can dial in the fuel. So I'm going to swap out this throttle body, put it on here. Hopefully, we'll make a little more pep in our step, if you know what I'm saying. Um, this thing's pretty slow, kind of gutless, if you ask me. Uh, compared to the red bike over there, no way. This thing's too slow. You get burned up by that thing over there. But we're going to make it a little bit more powerful. We're going to leave the exhaust alone for right now. We're going to leave everything else alone for right now. We're just going to start with the throttle body. And then maybe later on down the line, we'll look into doing an exhaust. And I don't know if I'll mess with the intake on this thing because there's really probably no reason to. You're not going to make a whole lot of power on this. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll go from there. We're just going to start off small. Got to get these covers taken off here. There's just a few covers. This thing is so nice to work on because everything's easily accessible. Um, we'll take these covers off and then I'll show you everything else as we go. All right, well, uh, I've already kind of gone ahead and started, but right here you got a little uh, Allen head bolt that needs to come out of there. You got another one on the other side and then one up here in the front. So we'll just pull these out and then these covers should come off. We've got this cable in the way. And then this should just pop over that. There we go. That exposes everything. That was easy. So now you can see we got everything we need to get to all accessible right here. Man, this makes it super nice. So I'm gonna start by just removing everything one by one. A lot of this stuff's gonna stay in place you know, like all the accessories and stuff are going to get swapped over to the new intake manifold into the new throttle body. So don't get ahead of yourself and like start taking up, taking, taking apart a bunch of stuff if you don't have to. I'll just start by removing the throttle cable and a few of the other sensors. Make sure that you're keeping track of what you're doing because you, you don't want to like take all this stuff apart and then not remember where everything goes. You know what I mean? All right. So the way I'm going to do this. So I'm going to remove this vacuum line here, just pull that off, and then basically I'll set that off to the side for now. And then I'm going to undo these two 10 millimeter bolts, and that should essentially, that'll just lift the whole fuel injector and everything out and away from the intake manifold. I got a couple other sensors over here that I'm going to disconnect. On the other side, I'll show you those here in a second, and we're gonna disconnect our throttle cables. So we're gonna come in here, and we're gonna remove these two screws. Move this one next to it. It's really nice working on a brand new machine. Just let that, let that sit there. We'll remove the injector. There's the injector, right? So this throttle cable here, these little uh, nuts, these jam nuts that hold all this stuff together, these are 12 millimeters. Um, all you gotta do is loosen these. Um, another thing you can do to make life a little bit easier is to loosen the uh, adjustment collar. I'll show you here. Here's the adjustment here. You can also, um, this will make life a little bit easier on you if you just go ahead and, and adjust this out. So that way you have as much uh, free play in your throttle cable as possible. Just loosen that up a little bit. Take this all the way back. All right. And then just screw this all the way in. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you a lot of free play on your cables here. So that way you can get your cables out. Just loosen these jam nuts down. Until that comes off same thing here okay now don't forget which cable is which so we'll just remember that the one with the adjustment goes around the back side of the carburetor okay or the carburetor <laughs> the throttle body 
Now we'll move over to the other side and I'll show you guys what we're doing over there. All right, so we're over here. We're on the other side of the engine. Uh, if you look closely, these blue, blue bolts here, these are all like Torx bits. So I'm gonna have to go get a special tool so I can get those out. Um, these sensors, basically, we're just gonna remove them from here and then we're gonna put them on the new throttle body. All right, I'm gonna do my best to remember what all these things are called. So um, we're gonna have to remove the air to fuel mixture screw. Yes, this got an air to fuel like adjustment screw. That's right there. That's gonna have to go in the new uh, throttle body. This is your TPS sensor, throttle position sensor. Um, and then you've got your, this is your fast idle valve, I believe. This is basically what controls your warm up procedures. So we're gonna remove all this stuff from the throttle body so we can go on to the new one and make sure you don't lose any bits or pieces that come out of this fast idle valve. I believe there's a little diaphragm that goes in and out. Make sure it stays in there and doesn't get flipped around backwards or any of that stuff. Otherwise, you'll have idle issues. So let's get that done and move on from there. This right here, this is that little diaphragm I was talking to you about. So it actually goes up and down in there. It will come out. Just keep it in there. Don't let it fall out. Don't turn it around backwards either. So keep track of that stuff. You don't want to lose that bad boy. You could even take a piece of tape, put a piece of tape over it if you have to. So now, all we gotta do is the screw. I'm gonna do that once I pull it off because I really wanna keep track of how many turns this is compared to, uh, you know, I wanna make sure it's got the same amount of turns on the new car, on the new throttle body. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this all as one piece. There's actually a band clamp right here. Um, you can get to it right here with little Phillips. I'm gonna remove that and then, well, I'm just gonna loosen it up. Once we loosen this, we uh, will, We'll remove the two 10 millimeters on top of the intake manifold, and then we'll pull this whole thing off as one big assembly. Be nice with these bolts. If you guys are wondering what this cable is, this is my, uh, it's my wideband um, sensor for my DynoJet Power Vision 3. And I have to use that for tuning this bad boy. Come on, there we go. There we go. So now, in a perfect world, this should just pop off. <laughs> there we go. So, there's our throttle body. Let's go compare it to the, uh, to the other one. So here's the difference in the throttle bodies. Not an insane big difference, but a few millimeters. I This is a 28, this is a 24, so four millimeters difference. They go up to a 34, but that is for the OG Grom or for the uh, SF Grom, and I don't really think it's necessary. You know, bigger doesn't always mean better. So we've got this, and then when it comes to the intake manifold, we've got... It'll be the same on this side, right? But this side, significantly larger than the, the top side of this one. I have to get a cap for one of these, so that way we don't have a vacuum leak because this one only has one. You can see it's got the boss there, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug, plug it. Yeah, keep pressing forward. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna go ahead and install this thing just the way we took it apart. It's got this nice little gasket on here. It's a little spacer gasket. Slide this on here. Well, you know, actually, I'm gonna put the throttle body on here first, and then we'll install this all as one piece, so. All right, so we got our throttle body here. I made myself a little plug, so that we don't have to deal with that for right now. I'll get one later. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put this thing on here. Well, we got a problem. I did not account for that. This tube is not gonna fit over this throttle body. That's gonna be an issue. It's definitely bigger. Let me see what I can come up with. All right, guys. 
<clears throat> so here's what I went and did. This uh, is basically just a straight aluminum piece of uh, tubing that I got. Um, I've got another piece that actually goes up here into the air box. You can see it right there. Um, one of the things, I'm going to change this piece out. I've actually got two pieces here. I'm going to change this all into just one piece. So that will remove this little coupler right here. I didn't have a long enough piece, so I had to make it in two pieces. Um, and then we've got a uh, one and a half inch coupler to two inch coupler right there. And yeah, so now we're just going to put the, uh, the spacer on there, get that all hooked up, and then get all the rest of the uh, sensors on the other side hooked up. And then we should be able to fire this thing up, start data logging and get it tuned up. So I'll get that done. All right, so I've got the uh, intake tube tightened down, did both of the clamps. I tightened down the intake manifold. I installed the spark plug wire. I installed the vacuum line. Um, I put both of my 10 millimeters back in there and I installed this bracket on top of the injector. I'm gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna do the other two sensors, the uh, fast idle valve and the TPS sensor. I'm gonna hook up the cables last because I gotta set the idle on this thing. Bam, just like that. Got all that stuff put back on there. I'm actually like really liking how this pipe looks. And if you look up in here, hold on, let me turn on my flash. All right, if you look up in here, you can see right where that goes right in there. I really am pretty happy at the fact that that pipe actually slid right through that hole and I didn't have to cut it. That thing fits perfect. Let's uh, get it all back together. Get this idle set. All right, so I got my DynoVision or my Power Vision hooked up. I've got my throttle body all good to go except for the throttle cables. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set the adjustment for the idle. I've already loosened the jam nut so I could spin that little jam nut or that little jam screw by hand. Um, <clears throat> we're just gonna let it warm up a little bit and then get it dialed in. I'll get you guys set up on the tripod here. It's actually pretty damn close. I mean, if you, you look right there, it's right at 1200. We wanna be right around that 1300. I'm gonna let this warm up a little bit. Once we uh, get this set to 1300, and we'll leave it there. All right, guys, so we've been sitting here for a few minutes. I've got this thing bouncing right between 13 and 12. So we're gonna leave it right there. She's idling at 14.3, 14.4. Once she gets up to 180 degrees or 170 degrees, we'll start data logging a little bit. And then uh, we'll go up and start making adjustments to our tune so that way we can go out and ride it. So check this out, guys. Here's something I just noticed. Um, <laughs> I was gonna go hook up the uh, <laughs> the cables, right? But apparently I forgot the little bracket that sits right here that holds the cables. So I gotta take that one off of the other throttle body and put that on. So don't forget that part. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. The 2025 Honda Dax 125 with the upgraded throttle body and the upgraded inlet tube. Um, made the inlet tube myself. Some pretty basic uh, materials needed if you wanna do that stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions, hit me up in my inbox. Appreciate you for guys. Appreciate you guys for watching the video. See you guys next time.